bumping. Why about a lot? When the truth is free, illusions create ting. Distorted reality, manifesting. Heart desires, faith that anything is possible, probable. With God, I'm unstoppable. Can't deny denial. Life flowing through, living is a test of subscription, a lifetime trial. Only faith, no fanatics. Pay attention to the antics. Peace over power, panic. Design, planned in fashion. God, oh, yes, say Yahoo. Hallelujah. Total Robbie, yes, sure. Great. Sap. Fish. All praises. All honor. All glory to the most high. Yeah. Thank you so much for the light. To go ahead and fix things up over here. Peace and blesses my people. Peace and blesses. What it do, what it do, family. Y'all already know what the word is, man. Shauna Navigator in the building. Shalom, Mark. Shalom, man. Let me know if everything coming through clear. Let me know if the visuals coming through all right. Hey, back to back stream. That's right. Hey, man. Y'all see the topics of, of today, man. The title of this video What's the world coming to? Hey. As y'all heard the vibes in the intro. Peace over power, panic, design, planned in fashion. You feel me? Man, y'all already know, man. On this side of YouTube, we create content to inspire, to encourage, and to motivate the next to be great. Fam. <sighs> what is the world coming to? Hmm. We, we got to talk about something right quick. If I could just get a little bit of y'all time, man. we I, I really want to get y'all feedback on this content that I want to showcase to y'all. Yeah. Hey, obviously, there's a lot of things going on in this world. And how many people are operating in a position of peace? But y'all already know, man. Over here, before we even get into it, man, I got to make sure I get the get the scene right I gotta I got make sure I set the vibe right so we're gonna go ahead and I got a couple of tracks I want to play with y'all so hey sit back relax if you haven't already go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that share as well hey, I want people to come in and join in on this conversation because uh I got some things I want to bring out and I want y'all feedback I want to have this discussion and tell me what y'all see tell me what y'all hear what is this really what is this world really coming to we gonna get into that family, but right now, hey, let me go ahead and vibe right swift. You feel me? Play this track. Shout out to my brother New Breed. Y'all already know, man. The time is now. You feel me? What you up to, man? What you up to? What what time you waiting on? Let's know it's right now. Let's get it. New Breed. Hold on, let's get the vibes going, man. Shalom, man. Huh? Hey, put a one in the chat. Put some fire emojis in the chat. Let me know if y'all can hit the music if everything is streaming. All right, man. That shall no sign be given let's unto get it. But the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. Yeah. I ain't no patient but a traveling man. Yeah. 
We made a statement without having a chance. Boy, I do this for the culture like I'm that but dad. I'm coming down real cold like an avalanche. Big fists in the air, got that hero sense. Got it tick like a certain young and move with a person. Bless me, I'm belief. Niggas still talking curses. All these trolls got me laughing because I'm breathing expansion. The streets pay with gold, bless us with many matches. Living in fine fabrics, women that's thinking classy. They know that I spit acid, my enemies flabbergasted. They jealous of the growth, sip Remy and take a toast. They really don't want to smoke. A soldier like Gideon can't see what we really on. I'm strolling the city on. There's killers in many forms. Been through hell like a spawn. Time to ring the alarm, cause we building this heart. All the more time is down. We've been waiting for our whole lives. But our enemies searching for a sign. I keep it moving, I have no time. I'm on a mission trying to get with his mind. Every since Quavo set up takeoff, they got takeoff. The city been in clouds like a napalm. Dark clouds. When they went missing, I was going AWOL. Still online, speak with passion like I'm made off. Hell, hell. Most these rappers sell their soul for the payoff. For the money. Shots fired, you get fired on your day off. Don't get your wires crossed, this is straight talk. Audio dope straight drop to your brain lock. This the future, so I gotta keep a shooter with me. These broads will make you stone cold, they got my ghost of spirit. I've been moving dolo, ducking curses from the gypsies. I've been in my own zone, cause history repeats for me. I've been chasing everything they owe lately. I'm like King Massa, who's a drifting gold, baby. They've been whitewashing us, trying to go cases. Persecution left and right, turn to cold cases. The time is now, it's apparent, I'm coherent in this world. Yeah, I'm fearing, grab the wheel, yeah, I'm staring. He who has a ear, I hope you hear it. The wicked disappearing. I'm so cavalier, we all in the different tiers. It's levels, I'm shining like a bezel. In the spirit, they wrestle, clothes and fame. Design and fashion, yeah. grace. Isaiah 40 and 31, you know we already won. Let the most high will be done. Put the new under the sun. Five of us, a hundred run. When they hit the beat, we drum. Isn't that a kind of drum? Yeah. The sun, the vision, we multiply. Keep my head up to the sky. Persecuted, then I fly. You know. Divinely painted pictures, artistry. Had to master my piece before I create a masterpiece. Ten K, I was mastery. Studying the mystery. Trusting the most, I was for my whole faith. That's all I need now. I can see now. We've been waiting for our whole lives, but our enemy is searching for a sign. I keep it moving. I have no time. I'm on a mission trying to get what is mine. But those. Feel me? The time is now. I got one more, man. One more vibe, and then we're going to get into the conversation, man. How y'all feeling tonight, man? Hey, to say it's a blessing to be able to connect with y'all, man. I got some things I want to show y'all. I got some things I want to talk about. But before, man, I I just got to get the vibe and the essence right, man. Just know when I play the vibes, just go, go hand in hand with the message tonight. So just know the time is now. Hey. I don't know about y'all, but all I need, you feel me? All I need is a little bit, a little bit of faith, man. It's just a mustard seed, not too much. Just a little, a little grain. You feel me? I know God got me. Oh God got me. Y'all got me.
me in this world. I know that God got me. That's all I need in this world. I know that God got me. You can't make a copy, no. Nah. Ain't no denying, creator of the heavens, all my desires be supplied. Portrayed in the physics, wise in the spirit, angels be mentoring, pay attention and you can hear them. Really fantasize, create reality, imagination going wild, it's subscription free. Send forth praise to the highest degree. God give me grace, overflow abundantly. Faith's all I need. In this world, I pray that God got me. Faith's all I need. In this world, I know that God got me. I grew up like a tree, better yet, like a rose through the concrete, standing out but still stepped on, extra than the ordinary mentality, clothing by the heavenly, faith and desire, design and fashion inspired, peace be multiplied, melodies from the choir, when we ask God we acquire, when we ask God, we acquire. God, we acquire. Face all, all I need. In this world, in this world I know that I got. Face all, all I need. In this world, I know that I got. You ain't said like that. I don't know. I don't that know. God. Pain produces lessons. Yeah. Hope turns to power. And uh -huh. prayer manifests blessings. Pain produces lessons, hope turns to power, and prayer manifests blessings. Faith's all I need. Yeah, hey, you got, you got to keep knocking. Faith's all I need. You got to keep going. Yeah. If you got faith, you can never give up. Faith's yeah. all I need. In this world, I know that God got me. Faith's all I need. And if you ain't moving in faith, if you ain't moving in hope, to see something better in this world, how you operating right now? Because, hey, fam, the time is now. I told y'all, I told I'm, I'm going to connect the vibes with the message I hear, family. Hey, I hope everybody is having a blessed night, man. I hope everybody's doing great. My brother came through with the scripts early. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Emphasis. The emphasis. A rewarder of those who diligently seeks him. Hmm. I just had to vibe with y'all before this conversation I have. I mean, just so y'all know where I'm coming from. Many people, let's keep it real. Music can tell you a lot about a person. <laughs> Music can tell you a lot about a person's beliefs. Music can tell you a lot about how a person behaves. Music can tell a lot about 
what a person believes in, has trust in, has hope in, their vision. You see somebody rapping a song and it's like, oh, snap. Okay, is it just a song or is that something that's coming from this person's heart? Is that something what they believe in? Is that, or is this just, you know, they're just doing it because they bored? Just know, family. Hey, over here, you know, I create music for my brothers and sisters to inspire and encourage and motivate the next to be great while giving my praises to the most high at the same time, you know? Okay, it's, it's just a different vibe over here, especially when we come together and talk about these topics at hand. And family, y'all see the topic of discussion right now. What's the world coming to? Man, let me let me get some feedback. I mean, let me see what's going on. Y'all may in the building. Shalom, shalom, family. DR in the building. Peace and blessings. What it do? What it do? Hey. Ah. I've seen some things, family, and to say I've been seeing this reoccurring idea manifest in this world, and it really has me questioning what's really going on. What is this world coming to? What's the end goal with everything being advertised and promoted via social media, via the music, via just the whole social climate right now? What is the world coming to? <sighs> hey. All I can say is over here, me and mine, hey, we, we we see beyond the the tactics of disarray, the tactics of disinformation, misinformation. And just know family, it, it is definitely an agenda that is set forth out here in this world. And if you don't have the spirit to discern, hey, you just gonna follow along and get along with who, whatever it is that this so-called uh, new world order constructs. So you know, let's break it down, family. Uh, I will, I will want to say for tonight's show, I am going to be showcasing a video that may be a little off-putting. So if you do have children, you do have some underage, I, I will advise you before we even get into the conversation at hand that you, you know, uh, put them in a place uh, that, that is safe for them. Uh, you know, you explain to them as we're talking about this. And I, I just wanted to bring this out to the forefront to my family and say, man, is this what we're envisioning is this what we want the world to come to and let's talk about it let's have this discussion because many people seem to accept anything that's given to them and without questioning it and if you keep on doing that what's going to be the outcome who's going to actually stand up and speak about something that obviously might be a little controversial well family Today, I'm bringing out the controversy. <laughs> so bear with me, man. If y'all haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Man, I, I definitely appreciate all the support that I get over here, man. Without y'all, it wouldn't be no Divinely Artist channel. So I appreciate y'all and say, I just want to make sure y'all comprehend where I'm coming from. So that's why I play the vibes in the beginning. That's why I make that, that scene. I hope y'all feel where I'm coming from. You feel me? Y'all may say they are trying to, trying so hard to stop the most high plan, but they can't. Ah, now West said, like the Manny Colors flag agenda. Mm. Steve blessed that the only type of music I listen to is righteous music from the brothers and instrumentals in my own music. That's it. Facts. Facts. Well, family, we here. Without no further ado, you know, my bad. I, I made y'all wait this long to get to the discussion, but I had to warm it up, man. <laughs> what is the world coming to? Family, take a look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Let me get y'all opinion on this. 
And once again, um, caution. If you do have children, this is pretty much a topic where, you know, uh, I, I want to communicate to people of age to be able to have some wise conversation about. And obviously we are in some scary time. We are in times where, you know, people have the choice. <laughs> I mean, we've always been at a time where people had a choice, but to say you know, certain choices are being publicized, and advertised, and being looked at as normal. <sighs> Man, uh, this this been on my radar for a couple of years. And to say it just popped back up into a feed of mine, and I'm just like, what? What in the world? Why? <sighs> fair use, fair use. I'm going to be using this content for learning edification and just drinking insight as far as what's going on out here in this world. So let's go ahead and get to this video. The title of this video is called scheduling her unalive if you got you know, i i don't want to trigger nothing but y'all get what i'm saying scheduling her unalive 28 year old dutch woman is slated to be euthanized next month because of her struggles with mental illness bring up the video family Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear the video as well. Let's see what's going on. Let's check it out. Hello, my name is Soraya and I'm 28 years old. I live in the Netherlands and recently... Zora. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh, but... I'm laughing in a sense of, is this even real life? Did y'all hear what this woman just said? Did you hear what this woman just said? All right, yeah, y'all can hear. Okay, cool, cool. Let me, let me play that back right quick. Soraya, and I'm 28 years old. I live in the Netherlands, and recently my euthanasia request for my mental suffering got approved. Zoraya Turbik is 28 and she expects to be euthanized in early May. So you mean to tell me that this is an option right now in society where people who are dealing with so-called mental illness, hey, you can just, you know, take the safe way out. You shouldn't have to deal with this. <laughs> ah, family. And, and this is not laughter of joy. To say, really, what is this world coming to? She is one of a growing number of people across the West choosing to end their lives rather than live in pain. Pain that in many cases can be treated. Zorai Pain produces lessons. Hope turns to power and prayer manifests blessings. You know? So when I hear conversations like this, when I see topics like this, I'm like, hmm. What's this person's agenda? What mental pain can you possibly be going through? And take this into consideration, Valley. <laughs> 400 years ago, right? You had a certain different demographic of people who weren't just going through pain mentally. <laughs> but still chose the option to live. That's how I'm here today. <laughs> you feel me? What is this world really coming to when you have people out here having these 
attacks mentally where there are options now where you can peacefully digress your life what is that what's the world coming to what's going on family man crazy right you would think i'm making this up right nope this is a real thing family hey no cap she doing herself like a dog no joke can't connect bringing out the scripts but he that shall endure until the end the same shall be saved hey but i'm just you know we just over here quoting bible scriptures you know still wanting to live you feel me but but we we the bad people right <laughs> we the bad people because we over here saying all praises all honor, and all glory to the most high we over here getting shunned but but this is the type of ideals that's being promoted man god west said we still in some kind of slavery slavery wage and how many people got the money to pack up and lead a country facts how many people even have the money to even go along with this procedure right here i i didn't really do too much research to see how much it costs but I, to say uh l around last year uh my family pet to say that she was on her last legs my, my dog and you know we we had to put her down you know, we had to get her euthanized there was definitely a cost to that so what's the cost to this and i ain't just speaking about the monetarily cost but, uh, 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 that's a little bit more in detail of the clip man i'm, I'm gonna just let her speak let's see let's see once had ambitions to become a psychiatrist, but she was never able to muster the will to finish school or start a career. She says she was hobbled by her depression and autism and borderline personality. Ah, <sighs> family. And if y'all know me, y'all know that I'm deep into the study of psychology. Y'all know that I, I actually, my nine to five is being some sort of mental health counselor. And so to say, you got people out here who obviously they aspire to be, but then they're, they're dealing with things on the side. And it's like, how many other people are actually dealing with things on the side and aspire to be some sort of help? But then, hey, it gets overbearing. It, the, the mental attacks, the depression, the 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 personality disorders it gets them disbob discombobulated to the point where what does life even mean to them to the point where they can go and have an option to peacefully digress what's the world coming to disorder now she was tired of living despite she said being in love with her boyfriend a 40 year old it programmer and living in a nice house with their two cats she recalled to me her psych y'all hear that she hey she live in a nice house she got a she got a boyfriend she got cats <laughs> she got all these things that you would think that a person you know uh would want in society to make them actually want to live and be joyful but obviously this person is dealing with issues mentally and who can help her is the health industry helping her is the psychologist helping her to say that in a realm of being a person who can provide solutions the last thing i'm gonna tell somebody is hey uh yeah you should just give up you should just you know end it all but to say there's options out here family psychiatrist telling her that they had tried everything that quote there's nothing more we can do for you it's never going to get any better at that point she said she decided to die quote 
I was always very clear that if it doesn't get better, I can't do this anymore. In 2022, the most recent year for which there is data, Dutch officials hmm. recorded 8,720 cases of euthanasia, a 13.7% increase from 2021, when there were 7,666 cases. Look at the numbers, family. You have this practice being promoted. And these are, I'm, I'm pretty sure these are doctors. I mean, you, you can't just go anywhere and say that you're going to get euthanized. You have to go to somebody who actually knows what they're doing. What is the world coming to? Well, you have doctors who believe that is ethical to say, you know what? Hey, uh, these 9,000 people that came to me for this option. Go ahead and do it. You know what? I can't deny them their rights. I can't deny them their service. I can only deny them their service if I'm trying to give them a vaccine. <laughs> and they're not taking it. I can only deny them their service if there's some type of disease going on in the world and I, and I want them to be healthy and they don't take it, then that's the only way I'm going to deny them service. But if they want to come to me and say, hmm, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with things mentally and I just want to, you know, digress my life. Oh, how willing these practitioners are. And as you can see, the lady's pretty much giving you guys the, the numbers where you have data being recorded of people who going ahead with this procedure family i'm i'm gonna keep asking y'all throughout this stream because i really want to know what y'all think what is this world coming to hmm god west said she got a mate she looked happy in that picture hey and happiness yeah, i guess it's only only so how far it go. God was said, verily I say unto you, unto thee, too much joy is much sorrow. Steve Bless said, people think they can run away from God's judgment by killing themselves. Only if they knew. Man. What, what comment? I, I I only seen the scripture comment. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Sheesh. God West said, how can you be saying I love my job when you got to murk people? Ah, man. Oh, yeah, man. YouTube be on one, man. I ain't see the comment. I... Sheesh. Yeah, I'm looking. I ain't see it at all. But let's go ahead and let's, let's muster the strength to get through this video because I just want to I want I want you guys to hear her out or hear this out to put this in perspective there were a total of 170,100 deaths in the netherlands in 2022 meaning euthanasia cases comprised more than five percent of all deaths now typically hmm. when we think of people who are considering assisted suicide we think of people facing terminal illness when you think of people who want to obviously you know go ahead and in their living you would think of people who are dealing with some type of ailment physically where it's like man i, I can't even operate life because of my body it, it just it doesn't function anymore so you know i don't want to be a burden to anybody because obviously i'm gonna need help doing my daily tasks like even getting myself out of bed i don't i don't want somebody else to be burdened with that so i'll go ahead with this process but you have people who are going through something mentally no physical ailments they are they're fully capable in their constructive body to be able to do their daily tasks but will still adhere to this practice what's the world coming to Hmm. I can't hey, hey. all I could do is bring it out to you all family to say for me and mine this is not
before Satan do anything, he always depress you before he possesses you. Woo! And to say, man, you got to keep your thoughts clean, got to keep your mind straight, man. And all I could do is sing to y'all, family. Faith's all I need in this world. I know that y'all got me. Faith's all I need in this world. I know that y'all got me. And that, that's what keep me smiling. That's what keep me joyful, knowing that I got the most high who got my back through anything. To say when it comes to something happening or attacking me mentally. Oh, man, come on, man. Now, I'm family. We are in a time right now where people are literally advertising their own demise and promoting it to others. Because they just can't simply deal with reality. If y'all knew what I went through. If y'all knew what I go through. As a colored male. As a colored male. Who has nothing to give to this world. But love and joy and peace. After everything that I seen my people go through. And to still want to live in this world. To say that. It gets hard for me to even find a job out here, family. But to say this is never an option for myself. I'm speaking with a lot of passion because I really. I really want you guys to comprehend the level of disgust that this is. And to say, I get it. Everybody, hey, your body, your choice. But we are we are now entering into a spectrum where literally anything is possible, right? And to say you can't tell anybody what to do with their body unless, you know, the mass majority is telling you to do something with your body. And so y'all seeing the facts, y'all seeing the numbers. This is something that is really being promoted out here in society. And hey, say if you don't like yourself, <laughs> Hey, that ain't, hey, <sighs> I just pray, man. Uh, I keep my prayers to the most high going rigorously. Man, give me peace. Give unto me a stable mindset to be wanting to live in this life. Because you have the so-called others who perpetuate another idea but this new group is suffering from other syndromes depression or anxiety exacerbated they say by economic uncertainty the climate man you going through depression you going through anxiety because you don't know how you're gonna feed your family Cause you don't know how you feel me, how you gonna provide. But the people that look like you are so called in control. <laughs> <laughs> and I laugh not cause it's funny. What is this world coming to? Social media and a seemingly limitless array of fears and disappointments. I spoke to a healthcare ethics professor hmm. who served for a decade on a euthanasia review board in the Netherlands from 2005 until 2014. Hmm. He told me in those years he saw, quote, the Dutch euthanasia practice evolved from death being a last resort to death being a default. Check it out. As she's bringing forth this information about these so-called practitioners where obviously you have people in the realm of the field of psychology trying to help people out with mental health issues you had someone who was highly revered in that society where they spoke out and said the practice of actually putting people to sleep 
was a last resort and it is now becoming a default option. In what sense is that ethical? As a person who's supposed to encourage you to see a brighter day, when does it get to that point that that person just loses all hope and say, you know what, this is the only option for you? Option What's the world coming to? Resigned. For my story for the free press, mm. I investigated he's a, he's a smart guy. Assisted dying and euthanasia are a sign of human empowerment or a sign that we're in a dystopian world where core human values are disintegrating. You, you can read, I am 28 and I'm scheduled to die in May at the FP.com. Man, did y'all hear that? Check it out. What is the world coming to? Is this a sign of empowerment saying that we have choice now to say we can either live or we can, you know, uh, choose the other option? Or is this a sign to say we're actually in a dystopian? We're actually in a, a world where, I mean, anything is possible. But at the same time, hey, the, the masses or the the people in control ultimately dictates what's being promoted. And to say that this is an ideal that's being promoted now, I have to question some of the higher ups. I have to really see what they're vibing with. Hmm. What what type of music they listen to? What you think? What type of music this person listened to to say that they just you you know what? Uh, one day they wake up, they got thoughts in their head where they don't even want to be here anymore. And when you enter into that realm of seeing things or hearing things, and literally that's not there. When you have a scope of view that is distorted to the point where you don't even want to live anymore because you feel as though everything is harming you. What is this world coming to? Man. Tommy said I was there. But God. <laughs> amen. Amen. Sheesh. Hey. Steve blessed, but you still here, I, and I encourage you, man, keep moving, family, keep striving, keep progressing on your talents, they say that the most I shall provide for you, all I can do is speak from experience because he's been providing for me, oh yeah, everywhere I go, family, let's just say, uh, speaking about my joy of life, isn't always accepted but it's like the people that come around that you know have that kind of spirit that tries to drag people into that hole you know a majority of the individuals gravitate towards that man and you shall know them by their fruits a lot of these people don't even have god inside of them and they try to help people with mental issues and it never works Y'all may say, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of Elohim and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the Hamashiach. Yes, sir. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your disobedience is fulfilled. Where in the scriptures does it say, hey, if you're dealing with mental illness, if you're dealing with some attacks that's coming to your mind that, uh, hey, here's an option for you. where so when you see people of course talking about the most high know what's really inside these people versus these so-called doctors scientists psychologists know the ethics behind these people and what they promote to others what they promote to the society 
Man. Y'all may say I have definitely had to work some temp jobs and do some voluntary work in the past, but the most I will provide. The, the, for my brothers and sisters who was going through this economic uh, disarray, did that ever put you on a path to wanting to so-called take matters into your own hands and exit? Because I feel like this definitely needs to be talked about. Because you have children out here who obviously feel as though they should have better based on what they're seeing on social media. And if they're not living to that ideal, hey, they they feel depressed. They feel anxious. They they start to society has perpetuated these terms on our kiddos and has led them into a spirit of confusion. To the point where they don't even know how to be joyful anymore. They don't even know how to be happy anymore. You got kids walking around here. Literally, they're not comfortable in their self. What is that going to lead to? What is the world coming to? And this is something that's being promoted, family. You have... She was trying to say it in good terms. Assisted. I ain't going to say the word because it's going to trigger something. But... (laughs) assisted you feel me like come on man call it call it what it is you have people in this society that will pamper wickedness to the point where they get offended if you call it a person how you see it you are weak minded you are not of the most high you are obviously of your father satan if you feel as though this is an option for you because as soon as i open that bible as soon as i open up the word of the most high one of the first instructions that he gives us is to be fruitful and multiply (laughs) y'all may say kind i we have to seek the most high through good and bad what did thou do when shah was seeking his life. What did Yayob do when the Most High allowed Hashtag to take everything from him? Facts. Facts. Y'all made with the testimony. When I was living in the shelter with my youngest son and wasn't working at the time, I was just reading the Bible and studying and studying like never before. And when I stayed in my car a few days before going to the job, man. Hey. My spirit is too strong. It wouldn't let me take my life. Going to the shelter. I had the Bible playing in my car. And say, Yame, you here to tell the story. You got people out here that choose that other option. Hey, they can't tell the story. They can't inspire. They can't motivate. They can't encourage. They can't do nothing anymore but say they're just another statistic for an option that's being promoted out here in the society. That was kind of heartbreaking for me to see and knowing that people pretty much they they take the so-called I really want to use my words wisely family. You cannot take people who don't look like you who obviously in history time showcased that they don't have your best interest in mind they don't even have their own best interest in mind how can you take these people serious how can you take these people as far as being something that that is good we are can come to the conclusion that technology and the so-called mainstream health industry is not controlled by people that look like me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's controlled by 
Hey, the other diasporas. What are they doing with this technology? What are they doing with this information of drugs? Are they really helping us? Are they really giving us options to live a better life? Are they really curing you from a so-called disease that you cannot see? But I mean, hey, it's here. What's the world coming to? Or better question. What's their world coming to? Because for me and mine, hey, we're going to keep on shining. We're going to keep on striving and making through. We're going to keep the spirit of life within us. And best believe I'm going to fight for mine. I ain't going to lay down. I ain't finna sign some papers and say, you know what? I just got a lot on my mind and it, you know, it's just causing me. No, 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 family. That is not an option. Hmm. Hey. Speak on it. Doing that is the easy way out. And the worst part is eternal life after that is forever. And that's the scary part. How many people truly talk about it, though? And you got these people, obviously, they don't so-called believe because of certain information that's being pushed out. Certain so, so-called so scientific studies It's like, hey, uh, YOLO, you only live once. Yeah, there's no such thing as a higher power, as they would say. Yeah. I beg to differ. And I say that boldly. Because if you can see what's going on in the world right now, literally anything is possible. Where things just appear right in front of you. Let me bring up this idea right quick, family. <laughs> it's an idea I, I seen floating around. It's called derealization. Uh, let me bring it up. Let's see here. Give me one second, family. How y'all feeling, man? We almost an hour in. I hope y'all still tapped in with me. What's up? What's up, man? What's going on? So derealization. I seen this subject matter floating around, and I kind of want to speak on it with you guys. And uh What's real life when you obviously can have people that surround you and they're in a mental state where they're just detached from the surroundings? People and objects around you may seem unreal. Even so, you're aware that this alter state isn't normal. And it says that more than half of the people may have experienced this disconnection from reality at least once in their lifetime. So you have a bunch of people out here who are spreading information, are talking about, hey, I don't even feel like this is real life. I'm just so not attached to what's going on in this reality. What's the world coming to if you're feeling so detached from it? You're feeling so detached from your surroundings. You're feeling so detached from your community. What do you think that this person is going to subscribe to? What do you think this person is going to create? What do you think this person is going to say? What songs do you think this person is going to sing? Do you think this is going to be a person who's going to be singing songs of joy and happiness? Talking about faith's all I need in this world i know that y'all got me faith's all i need say family hey my connection is with the most high and they say when, when he gave me the opportunity to to come into this world hey there's a lot of things that i definitely have been questioning what's real but to say I was never detached from 
life. If you get what I'm saying, I was never detached from truth. But obviously you have some people who have time on their hands to, I guess, cultivate that reality where they can detach, where they can bring up these practices, ideals, where they can make these medicines, where they can make this technology to easily digress from this life. What is the world coming to? <laughs> Some of the symptoms. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom in a little bit. Symptoms of derealization. <laughs> you see you got a person over here who holding their head and got the little spinny eyes on it. That's what I Hey. Yeah. Everybody who talking about the earth going end or something in two days because of the eclipse. This I see them. This is the, the, the exact picture. <laughs> How I see these people. Literally. Just feeling like they're in a dream. Distorted perception of time. Sounds are distorted. Man, looking at the outside world is lifeless, colorless, or unreal. Seeing other objects or people incorrectly. Feeling anxious about your consciousness. Some of the symptoms of this so-called derealization that's being talked about, that's being subscribed to. And honestly, I relate to, let's see, one of those. I relate to the seeing other objects or people incorrectly. Let me expand on that. I mean, let's just keep it real. We live in a time where people can obviously choose after they're born what they want to be, even though they were born a certain way. And to say, hey, I see them as that. And they obviously see themselves as something else. Obviously, I see them incorrectly based on their terms <laughs> so that hey, that's the only one i can relate to well i'm like hold on is this real is, am i suffering from it? these symptoms of derealization but we have to really comprehend the people that are in so-called charge the people that are in so-called control of society who have these tools technology medicines Drugs. Come on, family. It, it, is it us that's perpetuating this ideal of life? Or is this the people that's in control of the mainstream of thoughts in this world? I know when I get on YouTube and I talk about the most high, hey, that ain't gonna go mainstream. But to say someone get on YouTube and talk about transforming i see what's being promoted nowadays is that real and so i really wanted to expand on this conversation and say that this technology in this world is bringing us to a point of no return where if we don't sit down and have a conversation the people that's so-called in control i mean obviously they're not in control but they believe they are. If we don't speak up about what's about to transpire. Hey, we're just going to be sheep led to the slaughter. Who's going to speak up and say, hey, I, I see something wrong with this. I mean, this isn't real. This isn't reality. This isn't normal. The fact that you can't tell people what's normal. Because it's offensive, that lets me know right there what this world is coming to. An abstract perversion of what the Most High projected us to be. <laughs> A strong delusion, for real. Hey, y'all may, y'all willing. A million more times, y'all gonna hear me say this. If it was easy, 
everybody would be doing it if it was easy. And I know y'all hear me say that a lot of time. What you mean if it was easy? What if what was easy, Lee? If living in this world with joy, happiness, and peace exuding where everywhere you go, people see your see your light and can't help it but to be inspired. If that was easy, would it even be an option for people to digress their life? Shalom, brother Xavier. What it do, family? I see you in the chat. Yeah, man, I want to be politically correct over here, and I ain't trying to offend nobody, so, I, you know, I got to use those words, you know, without triggering nothing, transforming. <laughs> yeah. Steve Bless said, people out here fearful because of the eclipse. I stand bold like the most high. Amen. Amen. And so I got another clip I want to bring out to family, and this is in the realm of the technology that's in place right now as far as... I, I did a discussion with my brother Leon about the so-called chat GPT. And I kind of wanted to bring that discussion back into this as far as what's the world coming to. And one of the creators, I guess, of the program, he's, I guess he's in court and he's explaining to the so-called government officials like hey we need we need some regulations here so but, uh, let's go ahead and get to that one let's see let's see we in here all right family creator chat gpt is now worried about ai but you weren't worried about it before all right. <laughs> we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. But we, we try to be very clear eyed about what the downside case is and the work that we have to do to mitigate that. An anomaly on capital. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the downside case? Why are people speaking about this? What could possibly come into fruition if you have a system, if you have an artificial intelligence that if you type something in, it's able to bring forth that information to you in the snap of a finger? Does anybody know the downside to that? To say you have somebody who obviously is dealing with the so-called mental illness, mental stress, and they just don't know who they can speak to. They they talk to all the psychologists. They talk to all the doctors. They talk to ev any and everybody. They talk to Buddha. And then they turn to chat GPT for guidance, for help, for inspiration. What do you think the artificial intelligence is going to tell that person do you think it's going to tell that person to be fruitful and multiply keep living and be inspired to want to progress your life and idea as a human or is it going to analyze the scientific study of what the world is and say you know what after doing my calculations i can see that the world is overpopulated and on this course you know there won't be enough resources left. So after conducting my study and after my research that I've gathered from all the inputs around the world, I feel as though, hey, here's an option for you. Go to the Netherlands. <laughs> they have a practice out there where they can put people to sleep forever. Try it out. What's the world coming to? If you have a system out here that people will run to, to give them some type of direction that ain't even real, that ain't even living. What can a non-living entity tell you about living? Will a non-living entity inspire you to live? Hill, private tech CEOs asking for more government regulation. It's usually the other way around. 
For the very first time, senators held a hearing about the latest artificial intelligence tools. I'm nervous about it. Mm. I think people are able to adapt quite quickly. Uh, when Photoshop came onto the scene a long time ago, you know, for a while, people were really quite fooled by Photoshop images and then pretty. And I'm a graphic designer family. And so this field of creating in a sense of making something out of nothing is it's a miracle honestly and when you have this technology available obviously you're able to create images create videos create information that is going to be consumed from anyone and to say what is it what's the goal what's the purpose of it now you have a system where literally it will do the creating for you and all you have to do is type it in it gets to the point where yeah you can use this on your job where you don't even have to do your job you can type in hey chat gpt create a lesson plan for me and my children and class uh i'm working with five-year-olds chat gpt will create that lesson plan for you hold on chat gpt change it uh the theme is christmas it, it will change that theme of the lesson plan to christmas you, you get what i'm saying family now you're taking instructions now you're taking plans from an entity from a system that isn't even living that has no soul and you're teaching that to children and not to say that you're you know you're using your own intellect to create this but you're using the intellect of, of something that obviously we don't even have enough research on to say if this is good or bad yet we're still in the testing trials of it. But how far is this testing going to go until we see, hey, uh, do we really want to be people so-called under the watchful eye of our so-called guardian technology? Hmm. Something to ponder about. And as he was hitting on the realm of Photoshop, which is a graphic designing software where you can create images for advertising purposes or entertainment purposes. You have a system now where this can create videos. This can create movies. You guys get where I'm going. We live in a world right now. Where can you really tell the difference from what's happening in the movies to what's happening right now? Now you have a system that can create anything that it sees in a movie and bring it into reality. Y'all seen iRobot. Y'all seen all these Disney movies about these robots and to say that i was watching another clip and it was like uh, we finally did it we made we recreated the robots from the disney movie you have this technology so advanced that it literally can create something in the physical now as far as manifesting in in portrayal of being able to see it right in front of you or manifesting in the thoughts of the people around you. I asked the question again, family. What is this world coming to? <laughs> Steve Bless said, I think chat GPT is fallen angel technology. Sheesh. <sighs> I mean, hey. Does it have a soul or what? Does it have morals? Does it have ethics? Does the people that created it have a soul? Does the 
people that created it have ethics? Do the people that created it, uh, you know, do they want the best for everybody in the world? <clears throat> hey, y'all may say, would I look like going to someone to put me to sleep forever when I don't even sleep a whole eight hours until Shabbat? I'm good. I go to sleep on my own and trust the most I will wake me up the next morning. Amen. Steve Bless said that technology is going to tell you what you want to hear, not what you need to hear. Hmm. Y'all may said, I've heard of chat GPT. No, I'm good. I like learning to do things naturally, organically. <laughs> Man. It's already creating movies. And if you have no discernment, you won't be able to tell. For real. The cup of iniquity is getting full. And the Most High is about to pour out his wrath. Man. And I, I'm just bringing out some stuff that I see out here that's just floating around on these so-called social media sites. And then the information that's being shared is quite disturbing. And I really want to hit on this technology realm. I really want to hit on this aspect of information or ideals being promoted. And now it's like you can't even tell the difference. When you have movies that are so lifelike that people are inspired by these movies to recreate these scenes. Hey, it's like poetry at, at some point in time. Or for better words, programming. Literally, you give up the right to live when you tell the people that's so-called in control that you don't want to create anymore. You, you'll have another entity, another so-called force. I mean, I, I really don't know what to call technology because it ain't. Is it real? Is it something that ha that possesses a sense of truth? Or is it just numbers? Is it, is it a fabrication? Is, is this real life once you see technology starting to create its own? And literally, that is what we're coming to. Where you have a rise in technology, a rise in robots, a rise in artificial intelligence... But natural intelligence is being stripped away. You have a rise in so-called social media communication, but natural communication between men and women are being disrupted. You have a rise in so-called technologies bringing forth fruits, but the demise of the planet that literally brings forth fruit from the ground. He quickly developed uh, an understanding that images might be photoshopped. Uh, this will be like that, but on steroids. My worst fears. Images being created on steroids. Which means that these images are going to start coming to life. Which means that these movies or things that we see in movies can one day be walking amongst us to say that there's a such thing as so-called 3d printers where you can program a certain software to digitalize an image and then that image can be brought forth into our reality with these so-called 3d printers and then with the rise in technology you can put in a microchip to program this 3D printed image to behave a certain way. What's the world coming to, family? And how many people are going to accept this? How many people are going to be like, you know what? This is this is just us getting to, into the apex of our society, and you know, this is just us, you know, making sure that we fulfill our right as supreme beings by. By what? Literally. Advertising our demise? I don't think that's natural. 
I don't think that's the course of what we should subscribe to, family. Over here, you know, I I, I really I want to be able to say to my true believers, be not dismayed. We are definitely going to be entering into some times where strange things, hey, unforeseen before in our lifetime will will definitely start popping up. But it's like we got to be able to have discernment to say what is real and what is fake. What our purpose is in this life, which is continue to prosper, continue to overcome. To give all of our praise to the most high and not to these so-called artificial intelligent beings. Not to give over our life and our substance to a society that in the end does it have our best interest in mind. <sighs> it, this was definitely a hot topic, family. But I definitely felt like it was one that needed to be spoke about. And over here, as always, I make sure I bring forth the the content in, in a spiritual aspect so that we can get that other side of view of things. You have people over here that might promote this idea. That might stand firm with this idea. As for me and my family, I don't see nothing good coming from it, especially after knowing the people who so-called implemented it, who created it. This ain't it. So the world will ultimately become what you want it to. They say that if you have a dream, we're living in a time right now where anything is possible. Your dreams can become a reality. Your ideas literally can become a reality. Anything that you think of, you can you can touch it. It can be manifest right in front of you. If you go to the right scientist, you can literally bring people back to life on a, on a scientific level as we all know that cloning is real. They they can clone things. So I just really wanted to spread this message for my people to keep your eyes open. Stay vigilant out here. Be aware of the tactics. Don't be like that person in the first video. Uh, we stronger than that. People who have the spirit of the most high, our desire is to live. Hey, you shall know them by their fruits. Yeah. Y'all may say, for real, why would I give up my purpose to create when the most high the creator formed me to do so? It's crazy. Man, they want the whole world to look like Terminator, Rise of the Machines. And Yahushua answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Facts. What it do, Kev? What it do? What's the word, man? Appreciate the tapping in. Kind of caught us on the la latter end. We about to wrap up, man. But hopefully.